According to BASF, in 2002, only 40% of global FCC capacity was used to upgrade bottoms. This percentage has jumped to 51% in 2015, as only 49% of FCC capacity was used for gas oils. BASF has attributed this jump to increased bottom-of-the-barrel upgrading in Asia. Despite the increase in processing resid feeds in FCC units, refiners are still looking to reduce bottoms output from FCC units due to IMO 0.5% sulfur spec in 2020 with bottoms cracking technology. In the past years, the resid FCC unit has seen its role expand beyond a gasoline machine. Instead, refiners have seen value in the resid FCC unit as an olefins maker, a sulfur remover ultra-low sulfur diesel feedstock contributor by maximizing light cycle oil output, a biofuels user and a residue upgrader. According to Technip FMC, virtually every new FCC unit licensed in the last five years were designed to maximize the processing of resid feeds, maximize the production of light olefins, or a combination of the two. In Asia particularly, new resid FCC units are designed to produce ethylene and propylene for petrochemicals. About half of the FCC units built over the past 10 years are actually resid FCC units that can produce a minimum of 9 weight percent propylene, and these units can be effectively upgraded to yield 19 weight percent propylene. Also, even though slurry oil from resid FCC may be at a disadvantage due to IMO's low sulfur bunker fuel mandate, it will still be in demand to make products such as car tires, belts, hoses, and pigments.